Hello and welcome to Celebrity Trends. If it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell for more amazing news on your favorite celebrities. The translated rephrased content is as follows, once again, the Duchess seems to have no chance with Kevin Costner as he wants nothing to do with Meghan. Let's give a warm welcome to the channel. Earlier this week, I noticed a lack of articles about Meghan and Harry and wondered why their PR team was taking a break. Well, it turns out they were just taking a couple of days off because now they are back and flooding us with more news about the Duke and Duchess and their hypocrisy. I've come across some amusing headlines about Meghan, like the one stating she's about to sign a deal with Audible. I can't understand why Audible would want to sign anything with her, especially considering her failure with Spotify. But hey, apparently Kelly Rowland also had something positive to say about Meghan. There was a mention of Meghan being royal before she joined the family, but I still can't comprehend the true meaning behind that statement. Either way, it seems like Meghan and Harry's PR team has been quite busy. Yet, my favorite headline has to be the one about Meghan desperately wanting a role in a new Kevin Costner film. I had to read the whole article just to see how they would try to spin this one. It was quite comical from the start, as Meghan was described as just another semi-well-known actor trying to make it in a competitive industry. Let's be real, hardly anyone knew who Meghan was, except for her appearance on a show called, Suits, that most people didn't even watch. Looking back, that should have been enough for me to stop reading, but I continued nonetheless. The article mentioned Tyler Johnson, the writer, claiming that Meghan is one of the most famous people on the planet. Well, nice try, but I believe, infamous, is the word they were looking for. Meghan is most famous for being despised by many people worldwide. It's a reminder of the recent troubles they've been facing, like the news revealing Meghan's increasing unpopularity among Americans. We can't forget about the cancellation of her Spotify podcast series and the fact that Meghan and Harry are in the midst of a public image crisis which began with mixed reactions to Harry's memoir. I agree with the writer when they state that the Sussexes need to do some serious rebranding. However, I believe it may be too late for them. They've already shown us their true colors and it's not something we can easily forget. But let's see where the article takes us, when Meghan signed with WME, many assumed it was for her return to acting. Insiders claimed that the agency would only assist her with publicity for her humanitarian efforts, although she hasn't been actively involved in any significant humanitarian work. Now, it seems like those who believed Meghan would attempt to come back in acting were right all along. Although we don't know if that was the plan from the beginning or if WME gave up on the philanthropic angle once they realized she wasn't well liked. Meghan is known for her greed, and even if they are not desperate for money, she always seems to want more. So, she has to find a way to make it happen. I in July, rumors started circulating about Meghan potentially landing a role in a sequel to The Bodyguard, opposite Kevin Costner. The article mentions that Kevin had previously mentioned having a script for the project in the 90s, back when he had Princess Diana in mind for the lead role. Now, with Diana no longer with us, Meghan apparently believes she's the perfect candidate to fill her shoes. She even stated that she is the reincarnation of Diana, though Kevin never revealed if there was any remaining interest in the project or in Meghan for the lead role. It's safe to say that there is no interest in Meghan for any lead role, especially not alongside Kevin Costner. There are numerous talented actresses who would love the opportunity to work with him. So, why would he choose Meghan, a washed-up nobody, however, according to this article, there may be a role that could suit Meghan. It is said that Kevin Costner left his hit TV series to focus on, Horizon, an American saga. Insiders claim that Meghan is eager to be a part of this western epic and is using the popularity of the revived streaming series, Suits, to convince Kevin that she's the key to his future success. I highly doubt the validity of this claim. Meghan may be trying her best to persuade Kevin, but I don't believe he's listening. Meghan has gone to great lengths to convince others of her suitability for this role, as it is crucial for her Hollywood comeback. However, how can one make a comeback when they were never even established in the first place? Meghan's career has never been perceived as that of a serious actress, despite her briefcase role on Deal or No Deal and her time on Suits. She's always been far from a serious actress, the article concludes by stating that it's unlikely for the Duchess of Sussex to return to acting soon. Thanks for watching. Till next time on Celebrity Trends.